Hello, in today's video, we're going to look at risk management, money management in the Forex market. My name is Sewan Kabo Isma. I do welcome you back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and following all our social media platform. That is Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, and all other of FX Kapala. Uh, first and foremost, before we can start with risk management, money management, do you know what risk management is and do you know its importance? Well, before you start trading, you need to know how much you're going to risk on a particular trade. And what you're supposed to risk on a particular trade is what I want us to look at in this particular video. Well, it's always important you always go for a calculated risk in any business. So if it does so for any business, then we do as well expect the same to happen in the Forex market. So it is important, it is an aspect of professionalism as a trader to always know and calculate the risk before going in a trade. Reason being, this helps you uh, uh, from probably making a couple of losses. This also helps you uh, calculate and know your positive statistical edge over a series of trades that you actually trade uh, uh, during a certain period of time and all that. So, uh, in this video, we're going to look at how you do actually determine your risk per trade. Two, we'll actually look at how you're in position to calculate hands-on from our very platform and see how we can get an appropriate, you know, varying uh, lot size to use, which we call sometimes volume to use that is appropriate to the amount that you want to risk and a lot more to do with the risk and also managing that particular risk before you actually start thinking of the trade, the trading system that you're going to trade. Um, uh, first and foremost, um, trading, uh, trading risk management is one of the most, if not the most and important topics when it comes to trading. On the, on, the, on, on, on the one hand, traders want to keep any potential losses as small as possible, but on the other hand, traders also want to squeeze as much potential profits as they can out of each trade. The reason many trade uh, many forex traders lose money is not simply due to inexperience or lack of knowledge of the market but because of poor risk management proper uh, risk management is an absolutely necessity to becoming a successful trader so before you think of anything there is always that one important thing okay which is always risk because at this very point we actually see not the strategy making you money uh, not anything that is making you money, not the experience that is making you money. It always has to uh, start from the starting point. Uh, uh, that is the risk management, money management. So risk management is actually something to do with how much you should, at the end of the day, risk on a particular trade before you think of actually buying and selling. So before you actually buy or get a particular trading strategy, what you should bear in mind should be how much should I risk on this trade. And then you do not only stop there, you also need to ask yourself, how do I apply this, you know, in the real life sense or environment of trading? That is why I do release this particular video. Uh, when it comes to our trading system, literally for you to be a profitable trader, you actually do not only need a system as we already see you know, as it has actually gone viral over social media platform, you know, over, you know, uh, different communities of Forex traders where they literally actually have to say that is, you know, uh, it's the trading strategy that makes money. No, it's never the trading strategy that you are using that makes money. It's not the tools that you're actually trading that will make you money when you are trading. It's always, you know, uh, a, a package of things under which should pertain a trading uh, uh, risk, uh, rather under which we should pertain a risk man good risk management, money management. So hence finding this video that all such valuable before you actually can start trading. Meaning that at least if you are a trader that is out there, 
you actually at least before you start trading you should first watch this video and then if you have also watched watched it make sure you share it to other traders such that they can at least also be in position uh you know to see have learned the information you know about risk management money management from this very video so for us to have a perfect winning trading system at least what you should bear in mind at least you should at least make sure that you have um that you at least have uh, a, a trading strategy like which is we say if you can critically look that carries only 10 percent so for you to be profitable at a trading strategy like i've told you which literally everyone is looking at only carries 10 percent meaning that the remaining 90 percent you know has other things to do uh, minus a trading strategy which we actually see as a small percentage required for us to be you know successful forex traders so we should at least bear in mind that it's not only you know this that is though it's also an important aspect or requirement for you to trade and you know profit uh you know with an edge over the market but again it carries a smaller percentage meaning that it shouldn't be our main principle a uh, focus for you know looking out for you know when we are trading so another thing that we want us to look at should be uh uh trading psychology which carries 60 percent meaning that this is something to do with your emotions the reaction uh the occurrences or what literally happens when you make a loss what happens when you made it when you make a profit what happens when you fall or when you actually have so many losing trades in a strip when you have so many you know winning trades in a strip you know how much like there is a lot to do with your emotions like we already say trading forex is actually a reflection of you it's a trade it's a mirror you know if you're not good at risk management we can you know tell it if you're not a principled guy if you're not a guy who is disciplined if you're a guy who is not patient if you're a guy who is uh, say aggressive if you're a guy you know and everything that is actually uh that makes you is actually what makes you know you a perfect you know and uh, a perfect and successful forex trader so it's just a reflection of you so meaning that we find this so important you know when we actually trading uh, uh to be mindful of the you know the reactions the emotions and all that which at the end of the day we find 60 percent meaning that at least uh, even though you have the poorest system ever in life but then you have good risk management rather when you have good trading psychology know how to control your emotion and all that you can at the end of the day have you know a 60 percent and probably some that carries uh the one pass uh 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 the rate at which your trading system is so even though uh how poor it may be you know you can at the end of the day be profitable if you have good trading psychology well that's not the reason as to why we are here the reason as to why we are here it's because of position sizing which on this pie chart of ours that are provided to you carries a 30 percent so we see that it carries a great you know degree a great percentage you know when you are trading so it is something that we actually can see you know after of course the trading psychology that carries 60 percent the next is actually position sizing knowing how uh knowing which and how you calculate for the lot size that you're going to use it at least carries 30 percent uh you know for your winning trades so all for you to have winning trades at least 30 percent so we find it heavy and wonderful trading with so hence are uh, knowing uh, and showing us the value of position sizing when we are trading so uh, uh, as i wrap this um see how we're going to do this practically well for you to do risk management it's very easy it's just what you actually see on our chart it's very easy okay to calculate or to do your risk management so it's a matter of you having this very simple you know this very simple formula okay and it's just a matter of you knowing how to use this simple formula then you will have it will actually be a guarantee that at least you have your 30 percent 
even before your trading strategy and even before you being good at the trading psychology. So this is the formula. It's a matter of actually uh, knowing your capital that you're going to use. Uh, we multiply that uh, actually knowing your capital, which is um, knowing our capital. Then you also need to know the risk percentage per trade. How much of your capital you need to risk at the end of the day before you actually starting to trade? So it's what we're going to look at and see how we can do it this in this very video. Please, if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't shared, please make sure that you share. If you haven't uh, commented, please make sure you comment. If you actually want to, uh, if you probably would need, uh, you know, more assistance in things to do with trading, just go below this video get our contact contact us we have facebook there is instagram there is whatsapp and there is the phone number where you can easily reach us our response is 24 to 7 and it's always instant so let's get back and see so we said you need to know your capital you need to have the uh, the percentage risk per trade you need to know how much you risk per trade this is actually you know if you're risking you should always risk between one percent to three percent you have to make sure at least you're in these parameters whether you know whether scalping whether position trading whether what whether what or is make sure that you risk between one percent to three percent of your trading capital then last uh the other thing that should actually be in place should be your pip value pip value is actually the standards uh, the standard dollar value per pip okay this is the dollar value per pip and then I've also provided this below. If you actually don't know how to calculate for the PIP value, which I actually do not recommend. So I've provided this for each and every currency pair because each and every currency pair has gotten an independent individual currency or rather PIP value. Uh, I've provided it below still if you need it. Check below. Then lastly, all you need to have is actually what we refer to as a PIP distance. So PIP distance is actually always this distance from your entry point to where you want to put your stop loss. Like for instance, um, let me get my uh, my uh, pen here. Let's say if we were in the market and we, uh, we're going to buy at this very point, we are buying at this very point, and then let's say we are putting our stop loss somewhere, um, uh, since we are buying, we are putting our stop loss somewhere there, and then we're going to put our take profit somewhere. So this means uh, that you're actually expecting the market to come wherever it is coming, and when it reaches this point, you expect this market to actually go, you know, go up. Okay, since you expect the market to go up, so what you always need to first do is actually knowing your entry exit points okay so after knowing your entry exit points make sure you demarcate these points you actually can put horizontal lines are uh, probably let's say whether pending or market execution orders you put these entry orders okay reason being that you need to plan okay before you actually starting to trade you need to plan your entry exit levels say i'm entering at this point and I'll be exiting at this point as my stop loss if actually things go the other way around uh, because none of us is 100% perfect. So if there is anyone out there that is telling you for them they are 100% good at markets, then they are lying to you or, or probably they don't know what they are saying. So it's a lie. We can't have 100% you know, setups that you know I'm 100% sure that this trade is going to do, go to this direction or I'm 100% you know, a uh, positive uh, forex trader i'm never I, I, I never make any losses so if there is such a kind of a person that you see or believe in then please make sure they are literally saying something wrong so that's why we always need to protect our stop loss now position sizing comes in in this in the way that if you are actually saying that if the market goes against you then you should actually be in position to risk a certain amount of money and then this amount of money should be consistent if let's say the amount of money that you're risking per trade 
is 50 and this 50 should be within a region uh, or a parameters between 1% to 3% of your cap trading capital then it's always that you have to risk and then if you're aiming for a certain profit the profit that you're aiming for should always be slightly higher or should be more than what you're risking meaning that let's say if you're risking fifty dollars you can aim for a uh, hundred dollars and above and the only way you can do this regardless of how many pips is actually by deploying this particular formula like we're going to see so it's a matter of just deploying this formula and fixing those values that we are supposed to get where there is capital you put the capital that is there where the risk percentage if the risk percentage let's say is three percent that's uh that's 0 0.03 of your capital and then the pip value are provided it below this particular video so you have the capital you have the risk percentage per trade and you also have the pip value the only thing that you should always have to look for is the pip distance pip distance like i told you like for instance it is the distance let's say uh your stop loss distance i can call this sl to your uh, entry point because i said this is going to actually be our buying point which in this case becomes our entry point okay so it's a matter of you actually measuring the points uh or the pips where you want to actually uh enter from and a point where you want to exit from so if i'm buying here this point should be my exit point if the market goes against me so i'm saying that it's a matter of you actually knowing how many pips are here like for instance um uh, this is the pip distance so i can say uh i can name this as a pip distance um to make work easier so i can make this pip there is this is a pip it's, it's a pip distance Let's say for this case, if our pip distance, uh, let's say our, if our, actually our pip distance, let's say if our pip distance is, uh, let's say 20 pips, okay, they're usually pips, uh, let me add it, pips, uh, so if you have your pip distance as pips, um, so you measure that, of course you know how to measure that, if you really missed a video showing you on how you can measure those pips, just go in our previous videos who we'll actually be in position to see a video you know uh, looking at mt4 uh how to trade with the mt4 if you didn't if you didn't watch it check or click on this video up you'll be in position to see how we can measure those pips so after getting the pip distance then um of course that's all we need uh for our platform uh so you just come in i uh, just come and let's say uh, for this case, uh, let's say if we are actually using a capital of uh, 50%, let's say we are actually using capital of uh, 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 $5,000 as our capital. So all you have to actually do is to come here and put uh, $5,000 as your capital on your trading account. Any, any amount, okay? Any amount of money, like for this case, it is... Uh, 5,000 then the risk per trade this is the amount of money from your capital okay expressed as a percentage that is actually ranges between one to three percent so you need to choose if it is one percent it, it will be one percent if it is two percent then it will be two percent if it is three percent then it will have to be three percent but for our case let's actually take three percent three percent is actually zero point zero uh three that is three percent that is uh that is actually three divided by 100 that is three percent and then our pip value if we actually assume that our pip uh the pair that we are trading is zero usd remember like i told you pip values is actually the dollar or the standard pip dollar value okay is the standard pip dollar value by default and this is always provided i don't recommend you to calculate for it i uh, just 
always use what i've provided it to you below the video and each individual currency pair owns their pip value like for instance at least for euro usd it is always 10 so this is also provided you see it's just something very simple you have the capital you have the percentage risk you have the pip value this is ten dollars and the only thing that you're supposed to look for is pip distance and our pip distance for this case is actually going to be 20 um it's going to be 20 pips okay so uh we can start the calculations we can start our calculations um uh let's say uh if uh 300 rather 5000 times 0 0.03 uh we get uh we get 150 uh so if up here you, you're supposed to do it the very way i'm doing it okay so we said up we get 150 don't put uh the whole figures together some guys will just put one five thousand divided by that that that, that. let's get the downer the downer figure which is of course 20 times 10 that's 200 okay we put the 200 there so what we are trying to get is actually position size in other words it's what we call a lot size we actually it's called a lot size so we are looking for a lot size that is appropriate to what we want to risk okay uh so of course after getting 150 uh when you divide it by 200 you actually get a lot size of 0 0.76 uh 0 0.75 0 0.75 as the lot size that you're going to use when we are trading 0 0.7 Now, this means that you've gotten the lot size that is appropriate, meaning that when you use this lot size, it means that um, when you enter with it and you put your stop loss where you want it to be, okay, with this lot size, it means that you're going to be risking uh, uh, zero, zero uh, you'll actually be risking 3% which is for this case 150 dollars on this trade so it means that for every trade you're risking 150 dollars and then if you're risking 150 dollars which is three percent it doesn't exceed our limit as due to the principles which isn't uh three percent which isn't more than three percent uh of our capital though actually some books say uh don't make it to three you can only do two but i've realized that two percent is for cryptos uh, that's the maximum per trade and then three percent is the maximum risk per trade for forex so when you use this lot size like i was telling you you put the stop loss where you had wanted to put it and then uh, the take profits uh, will mean that if let's say you had gotten your uh, pips as 20 uh, your pip distance as 20 pips then this time round your take profit can be you know uh, 40 pips and above <clears throat> depending if you're a scalper then you'll have to risk uh you'll, you'll have to have a risk ratio of two, of two to one if you are a sweet a day trader an intraday trader and above it has to be one to two and above so a scalper li literally risks more and <clears throat> because of the market volatility risks more for something small yet for the other traders who risk small for something big hence uh, hope uh, hence of course using that particular appropriate uh, relevant um, lot size to use so you've realized that uh, things to do with position sizing is simply or position sizing risk management money management it's simply just the use of this calculation and you do not only do it for one trade make sure that you do it for you know one trade after the other one trade after the other one trade after the other be consistent if you actually go in for only highly quality trades then believe you me you will actually benefit and have an edge over the market 
just like the way the casino does the casino just gets a, has just uh, has actually gotten only a smaller um uh profitability uh, only a uh, probability over the players but in the wrong run it will actually make money the same happens when you actually flip a coin when you flip a coin the uh the three times the 10 times the 20 times you can't tell uh basing on the particular coin to which side you will have with a head or tail but then if you flip like let's say 1000 times okay you can certainly tell after 1000 flips i will always get a head for this particular coin okay because it means that uh the the the, the, the few trades that you actually go for is actually could be probably out of our uh, probability but then in a wrong run we actually at least very certain of the results that we get in anything okay whether uh in in a job like when it comes to a job you the more experience you get you know the more certain you become when it comes also when it comes to flipping a coin or when it comes to doing anything or playing a certain game uh if you're actually consistent about something you'll always be certain about the outcomes so the same happens here if you are consistent or if you're consistent in a wrong run okay with this it has actually been proven in a wrong run you will actually be a profitable trader so let's also not for our uh, focus mainly on the short-term result but then we have a long-term perspective when we are trading so with that we're actually going to be profitable and we actually be grateful with the skills that we have probably you know gained or will be grateful with actually forex trading but minus that believe you me you're actually not going to get anything out of the market because the main important thing like we have seen here to have a positive system that makes you money you should be good at two main principles that is uh, that is position sizing what we have looked at in the video and also a trading psychology learning you know to control your emotions to go with your emotions uh, uh, to go about your emotions and be in position to control them uh, thank you so much hope you really liked and learned from this video uh, we actually uh, if you have not subscribed please do you can also visit our website for more info that is www.fxkampala.com for those of you that actually uh, want classes still go below this video the contacts are there and in case of anything you can also comment about this video if you want anything to be added or removed from the video or to any hence supplement uh, to, uh, to do uh, anything to do with this video please comment and we shall do accordingly thank you so much i do sign out bye bye thank you